Hey guys, I'm Vanessa. My name is Paul. And if this is your first time in this channel, we have a whole variety of different topics and I think you guys would enjoy. Please, check them out. Yes, and today we're going to have something that's a little bit different we're out than our other videos. We're going to have a debate. Yes, and it's okay to have a debate sometimes, but this is about, you know, secular music. So should Christian, you know, listen to ungodly or worldly music, as some Christian put it? Yes, and my husband and I, we have some different views about this. Yeah, we have different views about it. For example, you know, for me, if a music is, is, is talking about love, it's talking about good things, it doesn't have any cuss words in the, in the music. For to me, it, a Christian should be able to listen to that music because there's there's nothing bad. I, I know, you know, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, this is what it says. It says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Yes, it's true. You know, whatever we do, you know, do it for the glory of God. But this verse, this particular verse, have a deeper meaning to it. Let me ask you, let me ask you this question. Does God want you to enjoy your life? Does God want you to dance? Does God want you to listen to music? So all these things, you know, you know, God does want us to enjoy our, our life. For for example, if a group of, if a group of Christians come together, right, and to enjoy themselves to a party. And they and, and they pick you know good music that's talking about good thing doesn't have any cuss word it's not bad a Christian should be able to dance and listen to that music to enjoy themselves because God does want us to enjoy our life but I know it's very difficult in this day and age that we're living in right now it's very difficult you know to pick you know you know music that does not have cuss word especially the popular music like rappers the rappers that we have nowadays is is very very difficult I I understand that. But to me, it's a matter of, you know, faith. You know, not, not a matter of faith, but a matter of, um, how would I put it? Conscious. You know, if, you're, if my conscience is clear, my conscience is telling me, hey, I can listen to that music, that, that music is clean. I, I, as a Christian, should be able to listen to that music with no problem. It's not a sin. I, I don't think it's a sin. I don't think God would be against you for you, you know, enjoying yourself. You know, hey, God is the one that created music after all, right? So he wants us to enjoy music. Okay, so as you can see, my husband gave his point. Now it's yeah. my turn to rebuttal. So um, my my intake in this, let's use the same verse, the same verse that um, you um, you quoted in First Corinthians thirteen, oh, 10. ten, verse thirty one. <laughs> so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Yeah. So my question for my husband would be. So those artists, these artists that are singing these songs, are they singing it for the glory of God? So if you're saying that everything that we do, we must do it for the glory of God, the, these artists are not worshiping the same God that you're worshiping. So in fact, a lot of them do a lot of rituals and they worship their God before they even put their songs out there. So what, you're, we, what we have to understand is the person who cre who's like the master of music was in heaven, the <laughs> devil, right? So he uses the same type of um, um, music, the same type of instruments, or the same type of tactics to come and to take even, uh, to come and to um, use this music industry to disrupt humanity. It's not that music is not good, but when music is involved with something else other than God, then it becomes corrupted. So when you're listening to other artists that are not Christian, right? You do not even know the motive in which they, they, they came up with this song. So maybe they're singing about love or whatever it is, but maybe they're talking about love between two women and two men right maybe they're the love the, the, is talking about is mostly talking about lust in fact most artists that i notice that they're singing um a lot of artists when they're singing they're not really producing love they don't even know what true love is so how can they even sing about love so and to say that um god want us to have a good time yes he want us to have a good time but you can always have that in a godly way. You can have a good time listening to Christian music. There are a lot of Christian artists that sings love music and they take it from biblical verses to try to, uh, uh, and to, they put it into their lyrics. 
so you can listen to love Christian music at a party. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I believe this is what the verse is saying when it says that do it all for the glory of God. Everything that you do has to be all for the glory of God. Yeah, that's true. You see, like my wife just said, it's, it's you know, now when we listen to music, we have to look at the artist. It, that is true. But in everything in life, every, like, let's say everything that we have, for example, I have this iPad in my hand right now. You know, I'm using this iPad, right? But do I know the person that, you know, do I know that person that made it specifically? I'm not talking about, you know, Steve Jobs. I'm talking about the one that produces what that person does, that person a Christian. So in music, if the music is clean, it's talking about love or it's talking about things that, that, are, that are good. So now, just because the artist is not, you know, a Christian and I shouldn't listen to it, to me that doesn't, that doesn't sound, it, it, to me that it doesn't sound right, right? You should be able, if, regardless of who the artist is, uh, and, okay, let me take that back, not regardless of who the artist is, but we should do our own research. I know there is good music out there, and there's good that has done by other artists, you know what I mean? So, if it's talking about good things, to me, you know, my conscience is clear. I, sh you know, I do listen to some, you know, sometimes, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about the popular rappers, the popular singers. I'm not talking about them because I know some of their song is good also, but most, most majority of the song that we have today that is popular today are no good because it's full of demonic, cuss word, talking about vile things, especially rappers. I, I understand that, but this, this matter should be a conscious matter. It should be between. It should be between you and, and God on, alone. For example, I know my wife doesn't listen to circular music. I will never, you know what I mean, listen to circular music right in front of her. Right in front of her. I want, I want to do it. I will do it when I'm alone. When I'm in my car, you know, enjoy some music. Like I said, I, I don't have a problem with Christians only listening to gospel music. I think that's very good. I think that's good. But I don't think we should criticize other people you know, for listening to other music, you know, I, I don't think I don't I don't think that's right. Okay, I'm not criticizing other people for listening to other music. It's not that I'm saying that this person is not Christian or whatever. I'm not criticizing, but I do believe that. Um, I do believe that once you're constantly listening to a music or whatever, it's influencing you in any way because music is very powerful. We cannot compare music with an iPad. That was created by someone who was not a I'll Christian. I'll just make an example. I know, because I know, baby. I so I'm gonna <laughs> because because you bring the person, regardless of the person is talking about, you know, something good in the in the music. But you also look at the person, that person's background. If this person is a Christian, you know where that person is from. We're looking at all that, and there's nothing wrong with that. You okay. know what I mean, there's nothing wrong. Yes, with that. yes. So but, I'm just giving an example with but, the iPod, just an example, and a but comparison. We can't, but we can't compare the two. The artist, the person who created the iPad, and the person who created, um, who who creates music, it's it's two different things. Why? Why do I say that? Because music is something that is influential right it's an influential it, it it if it streams up when it when it goes forth it brings it changes the atmosphere it's true music does control emotion sometimes it's all the time well, all the time <laughs> if you if you want to to go to the gym and you want to be pumped up what kind of music you gonna listen to <laughs> oh no you're not gonna listen to slow music what you're going to do you're going to listen to pump music pump why music. because you want to be motivated, motivated right. if you want to listen if you're really sad and you want to soak in your sadness you're going to listen to sad music so uh, music has a lot to do with your emotions so it's not like everything that, like a day-to-day -day type of um artist like they create a table it's not the same thing whereas a when someone is creating music they're really pouring out their heart so if someone is not a believer 
they worshiping demons they're worshiping other other gods right so when they're making that music they're pouring out their heart they're pouring out the thing that is inside of them and if what's inside of them is not godly what's kind of spirit that is in this music right this music even though it may sound so beautiful or it may sound so innocent it's probably not innocent and whatever you put into your mind subconsciously it affects your mind without you even knowing it or knowing it it affects you so you probably thinking oh I'm just listening to this music but in reality is actually a programming your subconscious is doing something in your mind that's why a lot of people when they having sex or they want to be in the mood to have sex what do they put on they put on certain type of music so that they could be in the mood so it's the same thing so if we're really trying to live a godly life if we're really striving for that i believe we need to do it in every in every detail of our lives and that includes music and i i don't disagree with that everything you just said is is, is true you know I, and i hope some christian that's listening to this you know take take takes your advice what I about you that. i take this advice <laughs> because like i said to me it's a it's a matter of conscious it's your conscious I'm not saying to go out there and listen to rappers that's cussing, that's doing all all these things that you know the God that the Bible forbids. I'm not saying that, but there's a lot of independent artists. Those are that's not popular. Those are not popular. Those, those are you know that's that's talking about good things. There's artists out there that's talking about all the music is good. They, they don't follow the mainstream music. They don't follow that. I know there's independent artists, so I, I don't think you know there's anything wrong. You know you know with with, with those music. You know, so for me, it's a conscious man. It's a conscious. So, if you're enjoying this video so far, please press the like button and subscribe. And also, comments, comments, and we want to hear your opinion, what you think about all these things. Please comment. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk about the conscious thing, right? So, yeah. what if I chose to be a stripper? I was like, you know what? I want to be a stripper. Well, that's different because that's, <laughs> that's not a conscious matter. It's a conscious that's matter. Lusting. That's lusting because we know the Bible is forbid. But no. I feel like it's okay for me to be a, Christ a, a a stripper. No, because the Bible forbid that you just showing your body, you showing your body, and people is lusting after you. The Bible clearly forbid all these things. Now his music is 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 different. You know, we, we know, you know, for, for example, you know, King King David, he he sang, even though he sang all these songs about God. You know, we are we are some mus musician in the Bible. We do. Mm -hmm. You know, God 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 is the one that created music. He wants, he gives people talent to sing, to do all these things that, that we have here. God does want us to enjoy ourselves and listen to good music, not the music out there. Good music. I don't think that there's no there's no command. You know, God, there's no command in the Bible that says, hey, I forbid you to, to listen to this type of music, this type of music, this type of music is a conscious matter. Yeah, so I guess... <laughs> <laughs> we still disagree. I mean, and it's okay. Like I said, I do not listen to secular music around my wife, and I don't. Do, I I don't do it all the time. Once once in a while, I I listen to you know some music that's talking about love, that's talking about you know you know social 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 life, whatever. Any anything, you know what I mean? That's not that, that's not bad. So I do, but I don't listen to I don't listen to those music next to her, and then that's okay. And if you have a wife or a girlfriend. That's you know um, do not want to listen to those music. Do not listen to the music next to that person. Out of respect for that person. Yeah, and I would I would say that I agree with the fact that, like you said, that you listen to like political type of music. Yeah. I don't think I don't think there's not there's anything wrong with that as well. Like there's like, um, oh say can you see like <laughs> things like that. I feel like there's nothing there's nothing. National anthem. Yeah, the national anthem or yeah, how many Christian yeah, how many Christian listen I mean sing the national anthem? How yeah, so I it, I don't it's not, <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So yeah. I agree with that part. But when it comes to like love songs and things like that, I still think that that's something that we need to really be mindful of. Yeah, and I agree with that. We should. Um because even if they're not popular, it doesn't mean that they not doing things that's true. in their songs. And that's why we do so, our research with with the song. We do our research you know, we see what, is, what 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 they're talking about. We will look at the lyrics to what they're talking about. We should do our own research. I agree with that. Yeah. So, what is our conclusion? 
my conclusion is that we still have a different opinion and that's okay that's okay to have a different opinion yeah and our conclusion is that like for me um for for me i would stick to my decision of not listening to ungodly music and i encourage you to do that yeah and my husband doesn't listen to it around me and at to, all <laughs> yeah at all but sometimes i would notice it on his feed and i'm like you always listen to ungodly music i can see it <laughs> she so, bug, she bugged me <laughs> so um but i would i would um encourage like if it <laughs> I would encourage couples who have different views about this. We're about to give um, our baby into the yeah. world. So I know that I, we would teach her not to listen to it. In, and then as she gets older, she I guess she's, she's going to make her own decision. Yeah. But are we going to teach her first and foremost to listen to godly music? Yeah, we we'll introduce her to those type of music. Yeah, the not to music. ungodly music, right. but mostly just just christian music and i guess the political stuff i yeah. guess yeah i mean he's she's going to have to learn that regardless in life um but when it when she get older she would have to make up her own decision yeah that's true yeah so hey guys you know this is like the video that we have for you guys please comment and press the like button if you enjoyed yes so hey we'll talk about you. we'll talk to you next time all right okay bye, bye. <laughs> oh wait 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 let's if you see um if you agree with with paul my husband comment down below and if you agree with me comment down below all right <laughs> let's say who won this debate okay all right. <laughs>